In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide a segment into as many equal parts as you desire. What if we want, let's say, five segments? What if I want to take this segment that I have here and to divide it into five equal segments? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing we need to do is draw a ray from the endpoint. The length of the ray doesn't really matter. The next thing we're going to do is take our compass and we're going to set the point here and we're just going to mark off five congruent segments. Next we connect our last point of intersection to the other end of our segment. What I'm going to do now is construct parallel lines that will basically project these points onto my segment. If you remember from previous videos, the way that we construct parallel lines is we construct congruent corresponding angles. So I'm going to take my compass, and now you've noticed I've labeled these points so that we can just discuss them a little more easily. I'm going to take my point of my compass, put it on G, and then I'm going to draw an arc at point G, and I'm going to copy that arc to point F, E, D, and C. To copy the angle that I see at G, I need to take my compass and measure the opening along my arc lines. So I'll put the point of the compass where the arc intersects that ray, and I will measure that opening, lock in my compass, and I will move the point of my compass down to each arc. Don't put the point of your compass at the lettered points C, D, E, F, and G. Put the point on where the arc intersects that ray, and then find your point of intersection. Move it down to the next arc, mark it off, move it down to the next arc, mark it off, and one more. To finish copying the angles, I will just take my straight edge and connect my lettered points and those points of intersection to get my parallel lines. The place at which each of these blue lines intersect my segment AB, they will be equal distant along AB. In geometry, when we mark segments congruent, we do it with a little hash mark. So these segments are all congruent. I want to show you another example just to demonstrate that it doesn't matter how long that ray line is that you draw or how large the segments are that you mark off along that ray or the angles that they make. So let's take this segment AB and we're going to divide it into three congruent segments. You see I've drawn my ray, it doesn't matter how long it is, and now I'm going to mark off along that segment three congruent segments. I think I'll make them a little bigger this time. So there's one. Let's draw two more. And it looks like I barely had that ray drawn long enough. But that's fine. We'll label those points C, D, and E. And now I'm going to connect point B with point E. My job now is to copy angle E onto points D and C. I'm going to copy an arc on all three points, and I'm going to adjust my compass. It really doesn't matter, as long as it's not all the way out here. Just somewhere in here. I'm going to lock it in, and I'm going to draw an arc that intersects both of the lines. Then I'm going to copy that arc onto the other two points. Now I need to take my compass, and I need to measure the opening. So measure the opening draw a little arc and then copy that onto the next arc and the last one. Notice that we did not put the point of our compass on point C, D, and E. Instead we put them where that green arc intersected that ray. 
Now we're going to use our ruler and we're going to draw parallel lines because we're copying those angles. Now I have three segments that are the same length. Basically what we're doing is we're copying angle E onto angle D and angle C so that I can get parallel lines. 